Rogue was a very strange man and Dove wanted to get to the bottom of it. After finding some case files and diary entries, suddenly everything about Rogue and herself made sense. She wasn't sure if it made her feel closer to him or wonder what he was truly capable of. Rogue Slater was born 80 years ago under the name Thomas Byrne or better known as Dr. Byrne. Dr. Byrne was accredited with achieving communication with alien life forms and worked closely with the government. Dr. Byrne was keen to express his objection of eliminating the alien race, but it was done so anyways without his approval. Regrettably, Dr. Byrne felt like this was his fault and dedicated his life to restoration of the former alien race. Working in his own facility, Dr. Byrne led a team of scientists to create RIA 0009. RIA 0009 was their first success capable of reproducing asexually or impregnating others with particles of her hair dandruff. Because of this, she was kept contained from others until they were certain of her reproduction capabilities. Dr. Byrne wanted to test this on someone and settled on one of his engineers who became pregnant with the specimen of Rhea 0009. The engineer fled with the baby to never be found with hopes of avoiding testing on his baby, and unfortunately, Dr. Byrne passed away of old age in his bed at home. But the lab was not done with him. His intelligence was needed to commence this project. DNA was extracted from Dr. Byrne after his death and used to construct a clone of him that incubated for nine months. When the clone was born, he was simply known as Project Apotheosis. His relatability to Dr. Byrne was tested by exposing him to Rhea 0009, who accepted him as the original Dr. Byrne. The clone, known as Project Apotheosis, showed exceptional strength, great cognizance, less need for food and rest, and understanding of the world around him. As he grew older within the confines of the laboratory, he grew more restless. Project Apotheosis was subjected to many inhumane tests and spent his childhood in isolation despite his very human qualities. He rebelled in his teenage years by killing the entire facility of doctors except his most useful two. Hardened by the experiments done on him, he took on the name Rogue Slater and swore he was reborn to not only restore the alien race, but to help them assume complete and total control of the human population by creating more hybrids until natural humans would be extinct. There was one thing he was sure of, and that was how terrible mankind could be. A few years later, a now liberated and undercover clone, he stumbled into his first ever success story, and her name was Dove. Her eyes resembled Rhea 0009, as did everything else about her. Her life proved he was capable of success. There was no doubt that she was the daughter of his past engineer David Mapleby and Rhea 0009. Rogue would do anything in his power to protect and preserve Dove. Still not finished with his life's work, Rogue has settled on finding new hosts for Rhea 0009 children, and his first victim was Valerie, who consequently birthed Hazel. Hazel, who he had every intention of raising from the start as his own anyways. Rogue is hell-bent on making things right and restoring the race his own morbid people once destroyed. Dove and Hazel are only the first of their kind. Join us for today's episode of the Maple Bee Legacy as things start to get pretty interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Hello! and welcome back finally to another episode of Maple Bee Legacy. I hope you guys enjoyed that little storytelling introduction. I know I do them all the time but this one I worked really hard on because I figured I was going into everyone's backstory and I wanted to explain that in kind of an elaborate way but also like summarized. And before we kick off today's video mostly I kind of just want to go over a few things before any of you have questions. Although if you have questions still and I don't answer them right now then feel free to ask them and I'll answer. But the first thing that I get is uh, are Rogue and Dove related? So no, they are not in any way, shape, or form related. It can be argued that Rogue is the reason Dove is alive and he quote unquote created her, but biologically she is the daughter of David Mapleby and Rhea 0009. Rhea 0009 was created not using uh, Rogue's own DNA. So there is theoretically no way possible 
that those two can be related. So don't worry about any of that. And then second, um, a lot of people were guessing that Rogue is like a vampire or that he's an alien or something like that. Rogue is very much human. So if you didn't pick up on it, he is a clone. He's a clone of the doctor before him who worked very closely with aliens who went extinct because of the government. So basically, if you guys didn't pick up on that little segment right there, Rogue technically created Dove's mother. And we have gotten to see a little snippet of Dove's real mother. And now you guys can see she looks very much like her mom. And then the relationship between Hazel and Dove, they are biological sisters because they both come from Rhea 0009. That alien species, regardless of gender, is able to impregnate men or women. And basically I want to explain like what happened with Rogue. I feel like what would have happened in his head because obviously he's pretty smart so he knows what he's doing but you know he's probably been looking for someone for a minute to test on and I'm sure he saw Valerie and saw much opportunity there um for one because he just does not care about her he does not care for her and also he felt like if she were to get pregnant she would not want the baby and he was definitely right about that so if anything it just gave him an opportunity to kind of swoop in but of course Dove swooped in first so he was like okay well why don't we just co-parent together <laughs> and I think Rogue was also very interested by Dove's ability as well to tell that the specimen inside Valerie was related to her. It kind of gives him more insight into their race and what they are capable of. He's still learning about these hybrids. Dove is technically the first hybrid that exists. So I do think he is studying Dove and how she is and he's probably a little bit surprised that she's so human-like. <laughs> I'm sure he was expecting a little bit different. And then also if you didn't pick up on it, David did give birth to Dove. So David carried Dove and that is why she is naturally more drawn to David but doesn't realize that that's the reason why she's more drawn to David. Technically he's kind of like her mom in a way. Okay so Carlisle wants to come over to hang out and I'm sure Rogue is pretty mad at him right now. <laughs> the thing about Rogue and Dove, um, I think when it comes to their relationship, I don't suppose from the start Rogue would have had the intention of liking her so much but I think right off the bat he was extremely touchy when it came to her. Because I mean, if you think about it, he spent his entire life working on Dove, basically. And then it wasn't discussed prior, but Rogue does retain all of the memories of Dr. Byrne. And then of course he made his own memories as he was growing up, mostly of the testing in the facility that was done on him. What is she doing? I saw that. So in that case, he doesn't really have a very good outlook on the human... Were you guys flirting? <gasps> what the hell is going on here? Dove's all upset. Hello. You better go make that up to her right the frick now. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Why is there trash all over the apartment? Dove, what are you doing? She's like being vindictive now. <laughs> Complain about partner's family. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ask for DNA sample. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I don't know why they keep going out in the hallway to have interactions. It's kind of annoying. Oh look, she agreed. <laughs> Wait, that's not her mouth. <laughs> she got a test instead. I don't know why, but my game feels like a little bit laggy today. I don't know. I'm not digging it, but I'm still waiting on that graphics card. <laughs> this is so stupid. I've been waiting for like, I think three weeks. Sometimes I just feel like my computer cannot handle all these graphics, even though it's just The Sims. <laughs> oh, and then uh, also I wanted to just talk about Rogue's, um, appearance. So I know uh, in the past he looks like he has brown hair because brown hair is actually his natural color. Dr. Byrne had brown hair. Rogue, when he was cloned, ha yeah, you should be embarrassed, honestly. Um, Rogue, when he was cloned, did come out with brown hair. He changed his hair color. So that's my theory on that. He did change his hair color. Mostly he changed his hair color just to look different. Obviously, he doesn't sport the same beard as Dr. Byrne does. Uh, so they look kind of different but I swear they're actually like the exact same. Their features are the same. Um, thanks Lilith. You're sweet. I fancy some security. You want to come? Are you flirting with me? Um, sure. Why not? Let's go. Wait. Oh, it's because we're already here because <laughs> we live at the festival basically. Um, 
I guess we'll have to take the kid with us, huh? But you know, all of that said and done, Rogue is extremely, extremely, extremely protective of both Dove and Hazel since they are both basically his projects. <laughs> and then it's like, well, would Rogue ever experiment on them? And the answer to that is no. I don't think that he is going to experiment on them. I think if anything, he's watching them. I think he's keeping a keen eye on them just to see if there's anything like out of the ordinary. Ooh, guys, <laughs> what is going on? Should the child even be here? What is with all this PDA? I don't know. I feel a little out of place here right now. This is, this is a little inappropriate. Look at this. Oh my God, guys, this is getting rated R. We're, what do we do? Uh, la, 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 la. Titus wanted us to drink tea. So I guess we're just going to drink some tea and maybe just go home. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> They're the cringe couple in the game. They're like as cringe as Grimes and Elon Musk or like Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. That's basically what they are. You guys go have fun over there. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's being kind of gross. I miss Dove now. Milky Way is running away. Why? That cat is so spoiled. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why does this happen? And then now she's sad because the cat ran away. This is, this is turning out ridiculous. Oh, he can comfort her about the missing pet. That's so sweet. Oh, and then I feel like Rogue would have gotten these tattoos as well as kind of a way to change his identity. But like I said, he looks pretty different from the original Dr. Burn, mostly just because he doesn't have a beard. He might have a beard when he gets older, but uh, I'm kind of doubtful because I just... The new Rogue uh, does not have the same personality as uh, the man he was cloned from. Mostly I came up with the idea that Rogue is kind of like an evil clone. I never really intended for Dr. Byrne to be an evil character, so to say. I think mostly he just wanted to correct his, uh, what he felt like was his wrong. Even though it wasn't his fault, it was completely out of his control, but he felt like it was his fault because he was like, dang, if I would have never just gotten in contact with those aliens, this probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> I mean, I like that they're getting to spend some time together, even if it's at the romance festival and it's not like the best circumstances. <laughs> it's not 9 p.m. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to put her through her bedtime routine. And that means that we do absolutely nothing except put her to bed. I don't even know where Titus is. Did he even come? Why is why is Titus in our apartment? What are you doing? He didn't even go to the festival. This dude invited me out to the festival just to not go. But I mean, for this generation, I still need to focus on uh, leveling up her career. So maybe next day that she goes, she may get a promotion because we're, we're pretty close there already. So obviously, Dove is a little bit mad at Rogue right now because he cheated. Well, he didn't cheat, but he was flirting with Carlisle. That was so weird. It was so weird and out of character for him. But also, I guess she would just be a little bit unsure about him. So Dove is a good Sim. So she kind of has like a good heart and wants to do the right thing. But at the same time, learning that her mom is one of the species that basically uh, the government took out, I think she can kind of uh, see where Rogue is coming from. So I don't know. I think she's a little bit divided right now because um, Rogue Rogue, I feel like he would be the type of guy to have a diary <laughs> and to kind of document his feelings and everything and what he wants to do. I always feel like every evil character probably has a diary, like let's be real. But I mean, uh, they're still they're still pretty close obviously and I'm sure she'll forgive him. She's just like really upset right now because there's the missing animal and then sad about evilness. <laughs> she, she doesn't like the fact that Rogue is evil and then obviously drifting love, which he's not losing interest in her. I don't know why he does that. <laughs> I, I need to put um, the mod back in my game that like stops random flirting because honestly, I don't know what it is about the Sims, but Sims will just randomly flirt, especially romantic Sims. And Rogue is a romantic Sim, but he should only be romantic towards Dove. I feel like there should be some sort of setting or something where you can stop the flirting if they're in a committed relationship because that's just ridiculous. It was just like totally out of character. See, this is what I mean about like ruining the immersion and everything too. New quirk, emotion bomb. Oh no, <laughs> not that fame quirk. I forgot that she's, um, I forgot she's famous. <laughs> I actually need to uh, stay on top of that. So why don't we take some uh, photos for our, our Instagram story before we lose some fame? That would not be good. Oh, nope. She wants to cry. 
She's supposed to cry in the bed right next to Rogue. He doesn't even care. He's just, he's just still re resting. But yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions regarding the storyline and whatnot, feel free to ask. I, um, I'll also try to include, like, any frequently asked questions maybe in the next episode if there are quite a few questions that I didn't cover. But hopefully I touched most bases. I forgot that I am responsible for feeding a toddler. And then, you know, obviously since Rogue is a clone, when he was cloned, there were some things that didn't go quite to plan as in he doesn't really get hungry and he doesn't really require sleep too much. I mean, we could say that maybe he, you know, from time to time it needs rest and needs to rest his body and whatnot, but he doesn't get the same signals as other people do because there are some malfunctions in him. Oh, and now Rogue is sad too from... <laughs> I don't even know if it's a good idea to have them go on a date today. Oh, guys, look at him with his baby. That is so cute. Hazel's very hungry. Be sure to feed her before she... That's a really... that That's a bold uh, threat there. Oh, she went and got her own food. Look at this. Uh, Rogue's trying to bring her food and she's like, no, I am an independent woman. I can do this by myself. Which is stupid cat didn't run away so that we could actually go on a date today, but I think that just ruined everything. See, that's what I don't really like about animals in this game. It's like they run away for no reason because every single time I've had an animal, no matter how spoiled they are, they run away. And then my sims are sad for like a while about it until the animal comes back and it's just, ugh. So Rogue and Dove are having a conversation right now about their romantic compatibility and uh, I think it's going pretty well. Or no. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It. I don't know. It went well. Like it, it said plus. I don't know. I don't know why they're making those faces. Oh, shit. It says maybe Rogue is trying too hard. Unflirty sims just don't like to be romanced. Oh, so he feels rejected. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Like, I knew that this um, unflirty sim trait would be such a doozy for Dove and it would make things so difficult. And I am so right about that. And then there's this uh, Dove tried being flirty. It just isn't her style. See, I always have trouble with unflirty sims. It's not just Rogue. It's just literally she's an unflirty sim and they're always so difficult to try to get to romance and you know um you know um it just becomes a thing where one sim is like gets embarrassed because the unflirty sim didn't react the way they thought that stop the unflirty sim doesn't react the way that they thought they would so i don't know it's just it's difficult but i like i like to challenge wait oh wait that's so sweet i want to okay i can't read that out loud but you guys can read that and i think um, that's actually that's a sweet way to say it because other times they're kind of obscene like they're gross um i i have never gotten this uh pretty romantic one so which one's better of course oh, yes but only because i want to show you you. Yeah, I think I think they they want to they want to make up right now apparently. <laughs> Okay, kid, get out of here. Hypocrite. It seems hypocritical to ro let's yes, I'm I'm aware. Thank you. It seems hypocritical to Rogue to be blamed by his partner <laughs> for the full responsibility of their relationship problems. <laughs> you know, guys, keep in mind too that they're like in their early 20s. So honestly, this is just hilarious to me. Because they're acting exactly like early 20-year-olds, basically. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna do something special here today. Y'all know what I mean? I know they just did it, but uh we just want to make sure that they know that each other is very sorry. I'm making you two make up. Get it together. <gasps> no! No protection was used. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What did I do? What did I do? Flying with no parachute. Oh, my God. What have I done? I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, my God. If she's pregnant, I'm going to scream. Ugh, I should probably go take a test. Shh. Shoot. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. Why is it like I'm the one that's taking a test right now? Oh my god, what did I do? What did I do? What have I done? Oh my god. I wish you guys could feel my heartbeat right now. It was so crazy. Look, this cat taking a poop over here. But anyways, needless to say, they made up and they're feeling much better. <laughs> Just a pregnancy scare. <laughs> oh my god, thankfully the pregnancy test came out negative. Dove doesn't want children yet. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh, look, they're, they've totally made up. They're much better now. Except he's just really sad about the cat still. I cannot believe this. 
The game is literally so laggy today. I might go through after I'm done playing and delete some of the townies because I know that this game is just generating more townies for no reason. And I think that's probably why the game is starting to lag because this looks just so ridiculous to me. So what I'm learning is nauseatingly kiss neck girl oh my god pull it together what i'm noticing is that dove does not like it if rogue has a romantic interaction with her but she is chill with doing the romantic interactions herself so <laughs> reluctantly hold hands i don't like these uh non-flirty choices <laughs> this kid is like uh can one of you guys just let me out <laughs> they're so hot and cold but i feel like most of us are toxic enough that we like that. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're really in the moment right now. I think I think it might be close to happening. They can discuss their life together now. So guys, I mean, what can I say? I think what I can say is that we are going to jump the gun here and uh, do something a little crazy. <laughs> You know what I mean? He did not just propose in the hallway of their apartment, but you know what? I'd say yes. I'd say yes, too. I'll take them somewhere nice. I will. I Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. I love that for them. All right, so they're engaged now. That's, let's see. Let's open the sim profile. Soulmates engaged, perceived as very attractive. Opposites attracted. Oh, I like that. Opposites attract. Dove has romantic feelings for Roke, even though they are very different sims. Okay, that's very sweet. And they're also deeply in love. They have an enamored sentiment with each other. I like that. That's super cute. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode of the Maple Bee Legacy. And also on that note, this is the last time we are going to be seeing Dove as a young adult. So I am going to play with them off screen and I'm going to, you know, pretend that quite a few years have passed since they're engaged now so in the next episode as well uh hazel will be a child and i think there's the possibility that dove will be more open to having her own child but i figured there needs to be a bit of a time skip because there's a lot going on and uh we'll see where she's at in her career i'm not going to cheat anything but i am going to focus on her career while i play off camera and we'll see uh you know where she goes with that she's probably going to be pretty famous by the time you guys come back honestly but I think that, you know, it gives room for more, for more storyline. So take a moment to appreciate Dove in her, uh, you know, last episode as a young adult and take a moment to appreciate that, that, uh, uh, yeah, that's probably, this is the last time you guys are going to see Rogue and Dove as young adults. So they'll probably have new looks as well when we come back with them. Um, they're still going to be very attractive, I promise. I have been kind of wanting to give Dove a makeover to make her look more like my other Sims because she looks a little different. So then for the next question that we're going to be doing regarding the next episode, would you rather see Dove and Rogue get married in that episode because they will be adults at that point? Or would you rather see a little bit of drama in their romance leading up to the wedding as they are planning for it? Let me know in the comments and as always, the most votes will be what happens in the next episode. So either there's a wedding or there's no wedding and just lots of angst. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!